Yeah, I think that was it. What's up guys, my voice is getting better so I can talk again. Today I'm gonna talk about different airsoft shotgun types. Here are the three basic concepts that are out there. So let's get started from left to right. Here we have the Tokyo Marui SGR12. What makes this gun unique is the fact that it's fully automatic, electric powered and it shoots 3 BBs with each shot. You can imagine how much damage you can do with this thing. It is literally a fully automatic shotgun. The way this works is there are three barrels inside this order barrel and we have a gearbox in the back with three pistons. So three times a normal HE inside this box. Compresses the air, you know, by winding up the piston with the motor and then it just shoots the BBs down those three barrels. So you also have three hop-up systems, which is really well designed right here. The hop-ups, they don't just help the BB to lift up, but also it helps to lift to the side. So you can literally adjust the spread of the shotgun with those three dials. If you play CQB and you want to have a lot of spread, you just turn them up. But if you play Woodland and you want to have pinpoint precision, like with any chi, but three shots at the same time, you can just turn them all the way down. Then the SGR12 comes with this magazine right here, which contains 73 shots, which is not enough. So what you need is definitely the drum mag right here, which is quite expensive, but it has 3000 shots and the combination of the SGR12 and the drum mag just makes this thing a beast and really efficient. Uh, disadvantage on this thing is definitely the weight. It's very heavy, then it's super freaking expensive. First of all, you know, it's made by Marui, so this already makes it very expensive. Made in Japan is always expensive. It's basically three gearboxes, three hop-up systems, three barrels, and externally it's also of high quality, so that's another reason why it's expensive. Currently it retails at 750 euros at Shoot Club in Germany. Uh, that's also the shop who supplied this gun, so thanks a lot for sending it over. The drum mag retails for $130 and then you also need the battery and you need a ton of PV, so that's an airsoft gun for people who have a lot of money. Up next is the EMG 807T, this beast right here. Today I'm not just using my SG24, but also the EMG M870 licensed by Salient Arms. It's shell ejecting, CO2 powered and shoots 20 BBs with each shot. So let's kick some ass with this shotgun. Not the most practical shotgun, but I think it is the most stylish shotgun since it just works like the real one. With each shot you will shoot around 15 BBs and the shells are ejecting. It is powered by CO2, so you basically take one of those CO2 adapters right here, you fill the bolt with it and you can shoot usually the entire tube right here. Now when I wreck the gun, the cartridge right here, it loads just like on the real one. So you load it into the chamber, then you shoot it. It's empty right now, don't worry, I don't need safety glasses. The hammer hits the gas system, CO2 presses out the BBs, all 15 at once. So it is the most shotgun-like weapon. It's shell ejecting, CO2 powered and shoots 20 BBs with each shot. Range is quite limited, um, I haven't played it in summer yet, but in winter I could shoot around 10 meters, which CQB wise it's all right, but if you're playing outdoors, it's definitely not enough range. But still, just the shell ejecting, it is really cool. It adds a lot to male functions actually, as you can see here. But that's mostly because I'm wrecking it too fast. If you wreck it normal, with a normal speed, it's usually no problem at all. Let's try it. There we go. The way those shells are loaded is quite unique. You have to insert this little plastic cap, then you take a speed loader, you fill it up, and then you close the entire thing with this cap right here. And when you shoot, you actually lose this paper cap and you also lose the plastic that's inside. But those caps are not that expensive. What is expensive though is the shell itself. So quick summary of the advantages and disadvantages. Big advantage here is definitely the realism. If you like realism, that's the gun for you. Another advantage is the 15 BBs per shot. It's really satisfying when you're seeing those 15 BBs 
flying towards the enemy. Big disadvantage is definitely the range. Um, it's really limited. Another disadvantage is obviously the shells flying out. You have to collect them. It can be annoying. And then another disadvantage is the price. It currently retails for 470 US dollar at evict.com. It's a disadvantage since it is quite expensive, but you are getting what you're paying for. It's a very, very solid gun. Up next is the Kuta shotgun, the cheapest shotgun, so the most affordable of all of those three. You can choose between three shots or six shots. It is also a three shot barrel system, but you have to rack it manually and it gets accelerated by gas. So let's have a look at it, um, how it gets operated. The gas itself is injected right here in the buffer tube. So that's also the gas compartment. And once the buffer tube is filled up, you can shoot around 12 times. Each of the shells works like a magazine. So you fill it with the speed loader. Just put it on here. You fill it, it holds 28 BBs. So depending on if you have it on six shot mode or three shot mode, obviously it lasts longer, less long. Um, you open the compartment by pressing this little switch. Then you insert the shell and you're all set. You just wreck it and then you shoot it. There's no gas inside, don't worry. There we go. If you want to change the setting from three to six, you can do it right here. Here's a little switch. You can press it either forward or backwards. Solid construction. That's at least how it feels like, but I proved different. Um, when I used this shotgun for the first time, I actually broke it in half. That's the one I used. I dropped it from a meter and it broke in half. So let's just watch it so you can see for yourself. Huh? Yeah, I think that was it. So right there, I think both of those shotguns would have survived the one meter drop, especially this one. For that one, I'm not quite sure. Maybe the magazine breaks, but the construction itself, uh, it would have lasted, that's for sure. But this one is also cheaper than those. It's only 250 euros, so you can't expect too much. I did hear though that they're also having problems with um, leaking you know, leaking valves and leaking O-rings and stuff like this. But there's also alternatives to this brand out there. You can also get the Marie versions, but even they have problems with leaking and they're also not too well constructed. So keep this in mind when you buy the shotguns. But it's definitely the most affordable one, you know, 250 euros. Gas consumption is not too high. So running this thing, the cost is not very high. All in all, it was also a lot of fun to play with. Uh, advantages here, definitely the range. It shoots the same range as this shotgun right here, way further than this one. You can choose between six and three BBs where you know you already get the feeling of a shotgun with six BBs. It's also nice to see this shower. Not as nice as on this one with the 15 BBs, but still quite enjoyable. Okay, that was it. That was the quick rundown of the three different shotgun types. Um, here once again, that's the Tokyo Marui SGR12 provided by Shoot Club in Germany. Link is in the description. Also, this one is linked in the description, the EMG 800 from evic.com. And this one was provided by Sky Airsoft. So also thanks a lot for sending those two ones in. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know which one you would prefer. Maybe you own one of them and you know, maybe I missed some aspect. Let's start a discussion in the comments and I'll see you guys on the next video.